Hello everyone, my name is Vodex, welcome back to another Roblox video. On today's video I'm here in Burnley in the United Kingdom today reviewing the Holiday Inn just off the M65 motorway. It's been recommended by a member of staff to come and review it after I did my Premier Inn one. So let's go check it out. First off, I would like to say the exterior of the building is super realistic. Like I found the exact same image on Google which is really nice and which is really cool to see. So we head on straight on in here, we've got a little nice entrance to the uh, hotel. The reception looks really nice, it's got like a nice welcoming feeling to it, if you get what I mean. It actually shows what rooms are available as well, like just like the Premier Inns. And if I go to my right here, I believe this is the Baron Restaurant, which looks really nice. It's got like very comfy seating as well. Some weird texture pictures on the wall, but I feel like that's every every hotel you go to, whether it's Premier Inn, Travel Lodge or Holiday Inn, you always have these weird looking pictures, to be honest. I like when I go to airports or even hotels and relax nowadays, they always have like a nice seating area, like furniture around the rest. It makes you feel like homely and welcome into any place, whether it's a hotel or an airport and Roblox. I do like the lamps, I just want to point out the lamps don't really, like, look really, really nice. Including the plants as well, like, I dotted around the hotel, like, it has like a really nice and modern feel to it, which is really cool. Uh, just before we head up to my room through the elevators, uh, I'd like to point out that the adverts as well, uh, they got like, the nice adverts as well around the hotel, which is always a thing whether you go to a holiday and travel lodge or premier, and they always have them dotted around everywhere. And I also want to point out, I feel like it is on this flight here, I want to point out that you have a H as well on the wall like for their logo, which has a, got a really nice touch to it, it can keep with the colour schemes as well. Anyway, let's head up to the elevator and upload to my room. Now, I just want to say that those lifts are smooth, like I don't feel bugged, I didn't lag at all compared to Premier Inn's. I'm not saying anything bad about Premier Inn, I'm just saying like the lifts here are actually quite more smooth. And you've got a nice little seating area here as well, which is really nice. And also when I pointed out about the colour scheme, like the H as well, there's literally a H everywhere, the colour scheme, that's matching as well, which is really nice. So I believe my room here is 107, so let's go and check it out. And here we are, room 107, and it looks very nice. Wow, I'm actually quite impressed with this, and it looks basic as well, but here at the channel, we love nice and basic, so you guys should know this by now, that I love nice and basic. However, it's got a nice comfy bed here, this looks really nice, I've got to try that out later. And I also want to point out like these little lamps as well, which look really nice, and including the green notepad, you know, to keep the colour scheme going, like that. that's, a, that's a big uh, plus there. And I feel like these are complimentary, so I can just take these out when I check out and keep them as a little handy book for myself. So that's really nice, a nice one holiday in. Uh, it's got some nice curtains, wow, that's actually surprising to see curtains in a hotel. It's been a while since I've seen, you know, curtains in a Roblox hotel, like most hotels and Roblox I go to don't have curtains. But shout out to these guys, these, these guys have curtains, so you've got privacy guys. However, I've got somewhat of a good view outside my room, so I've got like a car park, a little main entrance here at the hotel. It would be nice to see like a little scenic area like with UK houses and stuff like that, which hopefully do have that in the near future. We've got a nice uh, chair and desk here, we've got a telephone to phone for room service or reception. But at the moment they're still working on that, so hopefully in the future when I do do a revisit, it does work. And they've even got a weird submitting thing here, like I've never seen this in a hotel before, like why would they have a rating summit here? It's usually like at the front of the hotel or near reception. I don't know, maybe they want the guests to give a good rating after a good night's sleep, I don't know. And also the big famous television. I did say this in my Premier Inn video, that hopefully, if this does happen, that there should be a welcome message every time you turn on the TV, like, oh, welcome to the Burnley Holiday Inn, blah, 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 or like, Premier Inn was like, welcome to the Premier Inn, uh, Wrexham, stuff like that. So hopefully they do add that in the near future, which would be really cool to see, to be honest. And I also want to point out that these guys do have like the power sockets around the bed and around the room so you can charge your phone and stuff like that overnight. But however, before I continue onwards, I want to point out the random painting. Why does every hotel, like a travel lodge, a premier inn or a holiday inn, have a random painting in the room? Like what's so special about it? I never seem to know. But before I go and check out the bathroom, I didn't notice this. I did sort of mention this in the premier inn one, but not in depth. But if you remember from the premium video guys, which you guys can watch at the end of this video, that they have like a mirror and like a cupboard or something here, like a little wardrobe to like hang your coats and stuff like that. However, the Holiday Inn doesn't, so um, Holiday Inn, I want to know where do I hang my coat, where do I find my spare like towels and blankets and pillows and stuff, like where's the mirror here, I need to check myself out now and then before I leave the room. But hopefully in the near future they do add that in, so hopefully fingers crossed they do. I believe this may be my bathroom, which it is. 
and it looks really nice and modern as well though this is good to them out this is really cool now i do believe the shower and taps and the toilet do work with the water features which they should do so if i just check the toilet here I don't think it works. I'm gonna have to report that to reception, sadly. I even got a nice uh, toilet roll holder, which is really cool. Uh, let's see if the taps work. And they do, wow. Uh, before we've asked, yes, the water is clean and cleared, so don't worry, it's just the lighting in this room. I feel like this is like the new move lighting feature they've added. Uh, I don't think, I don't really think it is, it's just, I think, there's a bit of a development issue here with the lighting in the room, but it does look really nice here, to be honest. Now, the question is, does the shower work? Now, the door does open and close, which is really nice. Uh, let's see, let's see if the shower works, and it does, wow, that's actually really cool. And it even has the condensation as well, like in a warm shower, wow, that's really nice, wow, that's a nice touch to it. You know, massive showers all the that's really cool. No, to be honest, that's really nice. I, I do like the layout of the bathroom, like, this is really nice. But I think I'm missing something here, like, this, where's the towels? I'll probably have to ask reception later about that. I, like, the whole bathroom itself it looks, looks really well and really clean, which is... Him. Really cool, the only thing I can't do is shut the bathroom door, which I have noticed, so I'm sorry if I do set the fire alarm off with the condensation later with my shower. However, if I make my way out, I believe this might be my room control panel here, which is like the room management, which is the same as the premier room ones as well. So I got like the little features here, like the do not disturb, private mode, and I do believe I do put the do not disturb on the door. It does add it to the door as well, like the premier in, so that's, so that's really cool. So they got like the same little con room control panels here. So anyway, I'm quite hungry, so let's go downstairs and check out the restaurant. So guys, I'm now in the restaurant area, but I want to point out before I start making this video, and I know I did the whole intro and everything, I just want to point out that I had to mute the in-game audio, because they do play music constantly, but they do keep it lively, which is really good, the same as Premier Inns. But you guys know what uh, YouTube are like, as soon as I turn my game audio on, it will just copyright strike me instantly, so I know you guys don't want that, and certainly I don't want that personally. However, the music choices are really nice and they are keeping it lively, so, you know, big shout out to them. And I want to point out that this seating is actually really comfy. Uh, I want to point out that I've never eaten my food on an armchair or a settee before. Like, this is something new to me. Like, I've never seen this before. But hopefully, like I said, it is comfy seating and hopefully the food is delicious. So, first things first, today I went for the lovely steak. I love my good steaks, they look really nice. I think they are, I think. I think it's um, well done, I think. Uh, I'm not really too sure. Uh, but they do look really nice and really delicious. I have gone with the burger as well. It looks okay. Well, it looks delicious as well, but okay. But I would prefer with Premier Inns because they've got more texture and more detail in the burger. And I've even gone with the famous sushi, which is really nice. One of my favourite dishes as well. So hopefully I will enjoy this as well. My burger and my steak. My dessert options, I have gone with the lemon margarine cake, which looks really nice with the chocolate glazing. And I think that is cherries and I've made maybe cherries, or I don't know if that's berries on top as well, which has got a really nice touch. Or if you want to keep it plain and simple, I've just got the cookie with chocolate chips, which is uh, really nice. So hopefully I will enjoy this later. However, I got to say, Holden, you have done me proud by giving me a latte. One of lattes are one of my favourite coffees, it's even got a smiley face. I even got a cappuccino as well, which has got like a love heart. So I got to say, thank you so much, Holiday Inn. Like, you know what, how much I love my coffees. A latte and a cappuccino, you've done me proud. Thank you so much, Holiday Inn. However, I'm going to tuck in, and I'll see you guys back in the room. I'm back in the room now, guys. Uh, I got to say, the food was delicious. However, I'm going to go for a quick shower and go to bed, because I am really shattered from all the driving from all day today from the UK, driving from Wrexham to Burnley, so I'm really shattered. So I'll see you guys in the morning. And good morning, guys. Wow. I hope you slept well because I did. That bed was extremely comfy and the pillows were so soft. The shower was so powerful last night, which is really good. So I'm all nice and clean ready. Sadly, I've been told there's no breakfast buffet. So I'll probably have to go out to a local cafe. So while I do that, I'll go to a local cafe, get some bites to eat, come back here and give my final review. I am back from the little local cafe that gave me a good delicious breakfast. I am now back in the hotel. I've got myself a latte because the hotel knows I love my lattes. Now I'm going to move on to the final review. So I got to say the hotel is very nice modern and it's got a nice welcoming feeling to it, which is really good. The staff here are really nice, friendly and professional. I didn't really call it, but with the check-in, the check-out and also the restaurant area, they just asked me constant questions, you know, looking after me basically saying like, oh, is the food good, sir? Is the drinks good? Is the room clean? Is the room to standard? How was the stay so far, sir? You know, they're always asking those questions, you know, you know, looking after me, which is really good to see. So big shout out to the staff there. Uh, the hotel was kept clean throughout my stay. 
The restaurant area was nice, it had a little range of food selection, but sadly no breakfast buffet, so hopefully in the future they do add a little breakfast buffet and more selection of food and drinks. Uh, I would like to point out that the staff had like a housekeeping trolley which added a touch of realism including the luggage trolley as well which you guys would usually see in like hotels you know when they carry the luggage for you when you arrive. The room I liked it was very clean modern the bed was comfy and the bathroom looked brand new but however like I said in earlier in the video the room was missing some stuff like the accessories with the hair dryer the uh, co-hangers and the kettle and stuff like that which would be super, really super cool to see in the future. Also, I'd like to say there was no stairs in the hotel, there's only lifts, so in the event of a fire, um, you're not really meant to use a lift. If the fire alarm goes off, you're meant to use the stairs, so hopefully in the future they do add the stairs. Uh, there's no conference shampoo or even any towels in the bathroom, which would be really nice to see, hopefully in the future. But however, we hope to see this group in the future do a lot of development work and hopefully get somewhere, because this group is actually really nice and they're really cool. So you guys can check them out in the link description down below, all their social links are there, including the game. However, I'm going to give my final rating and give this a solid, strong 8 out of 10. So, big shout out to Holiday and you guys did a really good job. So however, if you like to see more, so don't be afraid to click that subscribe button and turn on that bell icon because you'll get notified every time I upload. And while you're doing so, you guys can find all my social media links in the description down below, including the game links and also, like I said, Holiday and social links in the description. So once again, thank you for watching, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, turn that bell icon on, and I'll see you guys soon.